I used to think of myself one way, but after this, that's not what everyone else sees. This is Elizabeth Olsen, an actress who's been able to maintain a balancing act of different genres for years. She's done horror, drama, comedy, and her role as Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, launched her headfirst into the world of superheroes in the MCU. More recently, she's crossed over into a more unexpected genre, as Wanda and Paul Bettany's Vision are mysteriously trapped in a series of classic sitcoms in WandaVision. We just don't know what to expect. As the younger sister of superstar twins Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, Elizabeth found herself being roped into brief appearances in her sister's popular home videos. Do you know how to get to 7th Street? It's right over there, silly! But Elizabeth didn't get serious about acting until she joined the Atlantic Theater Company as a teenager and did some theater work, eventually making her film debut in 2011 with two vastly different movies. In the horror film Silent House, which was shot in a way to make it appear as one long take, she pretty much carried the show as a girl trapped in her family's lake house tormented by supernatural forces. That same year, she got the attention of critics and audiences alike as Martha, a young woman who struggles to reintegrate into society after escaping a cult in Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. No, we all have to leave. I, I know him. We all have to leave. You don't want to live with this. Martha. Elizabeth continued genre jumping, playing a college girl who falls for an older guy in liberal arts, a social worker who helps a man who's been held against his will for 20 years in the thriller Old Boy, and a sexually repressed woman complicit in her husband's murder in the period crime drama In Secret. Then, after dealing with Godzilla in 2014, Elizabeth joined the MCU as Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, who has a Swiss army knife of crazy powers. Long story short, she worked for Ultron, switched sides to the Avengers, got caught up in that nasty civil war, and joined the fight against Thanos. I don't even know who you are. You will. In the middle of all this chaos, Elizabeth found the time to produce and star in her own show, Sorry for Your Loss, in which her character discovers her husband's secrets after his death. I think there was a lot about him I didn't know. But Elizabeth Olsen was especially excited for WandaVision, which borrowed elements from classic sitcoms and some of which was even filmed in front of a live studio audience. Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. <laughs> Elizabeth admits that there was a tinge of nostalgia from all those full house tapings she attended as a kid, but she was really enthusiastic about focusing deeper on her character, rather than her character's context within a million other storylines. The end result is definitely something she's never done before, which is right up her alley. 